Hey guys, welcome back to the Baelish Let's Play. As you can see, it's still a bit chaotic. Um, as you remember from last time, uh, the Baratheons are still in control of the Iron Throne. Um, Humphrey, the first Baratheon, married to Sansa Stark. Um, it's not looking too good though for the Baratheons. Sansa isn't pregnant, and it's not actually that many Baratheons. It looks like a load there, but they're actually children of his mother's other family. Um, he's technically the last Baratheon, apart from... Uh, where is he? Apart from Robert's daughters. He had two daughters. Um, one which I'm married to, Mia Stone. And another, which is a proper Baratheon, not a bastard, who's married to a heart. Yeah. So they're not looking too good. They really need to start having kids. And they're finding it hard to control everyone. So um, as you can see, um, the king actually has the little paramency of the Reach, the Westerlands, and the Iron Islands due to insurgencies. And he's had to take away the Stormlands twice I, no once he had to take it away from the Tarfs who they gave it to and also then give it to the Estevans. and funny enough I actually saw this a second ago Brienne of Tarth is married to Sir Loras Tyrell Tyrell sorry which I thought was quite good <laughs> I don't know why I just I just don't picture these two together really I mean they're both great warriors but as we well actually wow Loras is in this timeline Loris is an absolutely abysmal at anything. <laughs> but I mean, obviously in the um, the original, shall we say, books, yeah, you wouldn't see these two together. <laughs> and they both love the same person, so yeah, that's a bit odd. But yeah, um, we're going to take advantage of all this chaos at the moment. You know, as uh, Baelish says himself, you know, it's all about the climb. Chaos creates this climb. And um, we're going to start pushing our de jure claims. So we're going to take the Paps and the people. Because we need them for our jaw and it gives us more men, uh, it gives me more authority. So, you know, yeah, it's just something little we can do. So I'm going to declare war on them. Did you claim? I can raise like 2,000 men, he can raise about 500. So it's not looking too good for him, as you can see. Let's see, how many can he raise? Uh, 800, okay. More, was 900, okay, I was a bit wrong. <laughs> can they just get across or. Okay, that's good. I can just walk across. This shouldn't take long at all, really. Um, yeah, I can't see them putting up too much of a fight. I should probably put some commanders on. Oops. Osman, nope. You're probably not best. Ronald, Albert. Let's go, with Albert. You can lead the charge. Because I think it's Ty when he once said, you know. You're not king unless people call you king. You know, you calling yourself a king doesn't make you a king. Um, so I'm calling myself, you know, uh, what am I? You know, Lord Power, um, High Lord of the Fingers. But, you know, there's two places which are part of that which don't actually recognize me as their overlord. So we need to sort that out. Okay, there we go. Yep, and that one's done. So we now got the peoples. Okay. So they're now under my authority. I've got to get rid of these guys. Because you can't declare war unless you've got no men raised. And then we'll go over here. How many can they raise? Uh, okay, they can raise about 500. Declare war. Yeah, so I haven't been... Um, you're going to notice there's going to be gaps, uh, shall we say, between each let's play like every time I upload an episode for that particular let's play um, it'll probably start to be what happens is I'm gonna release stuff like there'll be a wave of these episodes like for the Baelish there'll be loads of these um, and then for like a week let's say there won't be like any but in that other week there'll be loads of Blackfire and loads of the High Rock um, scenario I'm doing for the Elder Kings so that's what I mean, it's going, to, it's going to be like that, because that's just how the way things go with me, you know. I haven't got much time to record and stuff and play. Um, so it's the best way I can really do, really. Okay, and we've won already. So like I say, I'll, I'll only have finished the Let's Play if I tell you guys. Like I did for the Martel series, I'd like to have things have an actual ending. Because that's something I'd hate, you know. If I was following someone, and they ended it and didn't tell anyone or didn't we have a proper ending I'd feel a bit shitty particularly if I like that you know you want a little bit of closure at least at least a tiny bit so um, that's what I decided to do with the Martells and I'll do it for the others as well 
most likely, or I'll tell you. So if I haven't said anything, don't worry, that Let's Play is still going. It just might have taken like a week hiatus. Um, the Stark Let's Play is actually taking a back drop seat <laughs> um, for now, while I concentrate on others. Because obviously I've got about five at the moment. Okay. Um, I collected... Um, I'm sorry, I was reading the thing and thinking at the same time. Uh, why isn't my kid being educated? How did I not even notice that? Uh, I'll educate myself. Two week claims. High Lordship of Eastworld. Ooh. That's an interesting. Eastworld is quite a populous place. It's quite strong there. Okay, my vassals have 200. Okay. They probably don't like me very much. Um, I'm going to have to start making friends with them, I guess. Uh, at the moment, obviously, the Lord Palmont John, or the Vale, he's still in jail um, in King's Landing, which means his wife still can't have children. So he's got a bit of a problem at the moment, because if he dies, which in jail is quite likely. Ah, my beloved wife Mia is constantly bored and keeps talking about the new fashion she has heard about. Now she wants me to introduce it at court. My money is your money, darling. Bad, he's a sin, let's go to the church instead. This is my money you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm greedy. Little thing would be greedy. Yeah, and if he dies, his, I think it's his father. Yes, yeah, his father gets um, the Lord Palmacy. And obviously, what kids has he got? Obviously him, he's his heir. So it will then go to his daughter, who's actually married to a Karstark. And they've had a kid. Actually, they've had two kids now. So that means the Lord Palmacy of the Vale could go to the Karstarks. Which is slightly interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, they're still fighting the drums. I think it's the drums. Yeah, it's the drums. They're still fighting them. He's trying to fight against the tyranny of the king. He's got no chance to win, but, you know, it's taken a while to beat him. I'm not sure why it's taken him so long to beat him. But yeah, as I was saying before, you know, due to time constraints and not being able to record and stuff, and, you know, general life stuff, um... You'll find that, you know, like a, a series might be a week until another episode comes out for that one. There'll be episodes every day, or at least try to be episodes every day, but maybe, you know, the one you want to watch might not be. Which is a shame, you know, but it's all I can do for now. I've sort of given myself too many Let's Plays. <laughs> Hold a regional tourney, okay. Uh, oh, that's what I was talking about, yeah. I've got. What was that? Master of Laws? What happened to my Master of Laws? I guess Mia, okay. Uh, improve relations, I guess. Yeah, improve the relations with the Paps. Get him to like us, Mia. Um, but yeah, I've got like five Let's Plays going at the moment. i got this one, the Blackfire. I've got the Feast for Crows scenario. I've got, what's the other ones? Uh, the Elder King scenario and the Stark one. So i got five Let's Plays going at the moment. Um, the Stark one's taking a backseat at the moment, maybe for a couple of weeks or something. So that's four. And I've got the Old Gods downloadable content coming out at the end of the month. <laughs> so I've sort of given myself quite a big workload. But it's a fun work, will it? You know, it's a fun workload, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, I hereby invite you to attend a tourney of people. Okay, we'll come. Just to make you a bit happier, possibly. Uh, my Lord, His Grace King Humphrey has been fit to name Gowan Westerling. Lord Palmont of the Westlands. Okay, so the Westlings have become Lord Palmonts. Interesting choice. Okay. That is interesting. Hey, there's Jane Westling. <laughs> if, you, if you're watching the show, you don't know who Jane Westling is. Uh, in the show, the woman who Rob Stark marries, that's who is in the books. It's a different person in the books. For some reason they changed it. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, actually, I'm not actually sure why. I think mean, it's because they wanted to introduce in the first end of the first season. If I remember correctly. That's why. Was it the end of the second season they introduced her? No, it was the end of the first season, I think. Uh, I sacrificed one of my oldest friends today because of my greediness. One of my friend's enemies offered me a bribe I couldn't resist. I won more than I lost. Wow. Was it him? 
<laughs> the Meister. <laughs> oh well. At least he's given the Westlings out now. He just needs to give the reach to someone. And the Iron Islands. The Iron Islands has caused quite a bit of war so far. So he really needs to start giving that to someone. And what are these guys doing? Revolt against his will. Yep. That's because he's not giving out his little promises. Yeah, at the moment I'm Castellian of the Veil. Vale. It's getting warmer. That's good. I've been instructing Yord Creighton to the ways of sword and lance, and he's not cooperating. Ah, that's great. <laughs> Damn it. Asia for the Iron Throne. Oh my god. Why won't someone, you know, found one for um, Mia? Mia for the Iron Throne. Come on. Hmm. Okay. I tried to make Lord Cradrill or the Paps realize what a benevolent, peaceful ruler you are. But sinister forces, damn, you've made it worse. God damn you, Mia. How many kids have I got anyway? I've got one, two, three, four, five. And four sons. <laughs> Liege Lawless faction, okay. Okay. Well, that little war's over now. Huh. Not really much going on, particularly. I need to start putting my next uh, plan into place. Now I've got the whole of the High Lordship. Um, I need to start setting into place what I want to do next. Obviously, the next level is Lord Paramount. So I should really be aiming to try and take the Lord Paramountcy. Or at least a Lord Paramountcy. I'm going to have to look into seeing what I can sneak in, maybe. I could obviously marry one of the Karstarks. Like the sun here. Huh. Range betrothal. Let's just let's just see. Hypothetically. Uh marry him to my daughter, Sarah. And they take a match with Enil. See I could just technically he will be the next well not next lord, but he will be the future lord of the Vale. If he isn't released. If he dies in jail, this could be a very good. I can't see any other. That might be my best chance. I'm going to do it. Might as well betroth, you know. We can always, you know, say we don't want to anymore. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to look into the other ones as well, because obviously it doesn't matter which Lord Paramount we get, it's just important we get one. So obviously you get a lot more fighting power being Lord Paramount. My son's quite good at the... He's quite good with the Marshal. Uh, let's make him a command. Yeah, so what's going on with Rob Stark? Ah, thank you. He accepted it. Uh, he's got two sons. Okay. The Tawny the Paps. Yep, we'll go there as well. Doesn't look we're going to get anything out of that. The Westings, let's have a look here. Okay, quite a lot of sons. And my wife is pregnant. Great. More children. God damn it. More money wasted. Ah, here we go. Jo Gold Good Brother. Okay, so the Good Brothers have got the Iron Islands now. They are really changing the face of Westeros. The amount of change. Basically, almost everyone's changed apart from the Starks and Dawn. Are we on the Arons? I guess the Arons are sort of there still. Even if they're not really true Arons. The lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tearfully, she told me that my son, Lynn, had insulted her again. But my dear, you are fat. Uh, has its bounds, punish him. See, I would say, yeah, he would tell me it has its bounds, because obviously, as we all know, Baelish is quite, shall we say, charming. He like he gets, he becomes quite good friends with a lot of people in high places. Um, he knows when to say stuff and when not to say stuff. But he will tell it to your face if he needs to. Um, yeah. Explain it to his son, basically. Okay, so he has a son as well. 
Okay, I can't really see anywhere sneaky in there. Got the iron arms then. Good bro. Whoa, okay. This good brother has a lot of children. Wow. Jesus. A lot of daughters. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What the hell? How many daughters? The Unbending Horn. That, that's some pretty cool names. This is insane. Okay. There you go. You finally had a son. That's insane how many doors he has. And he's his own children as well. Uh, he has a son. Okay, so I could marry the daughter. Nope, she's already married off. To a Frey. What are the chances? The Frey's always bloody everywhere. Okay, how about Dawn? What is this? Have you have you gone to a different faith? Wow, okay, it looks as though um, Duran of Dawn, the scholar as he's known, is turned to Roller. Favoured by Roller, oh my god. <laughs> what, what's happened to you, Duran? You crazy son of a... He's Warden of the East. Okay, that's interesting. Um, okay, let's have a look. Ariana Sand. Okay, that's, that's, not, that's a bit different. His son has been married, but she's dead. Uh, and he named him Duran as well. Okay. Can't really see anything there. I'll let the time go by. We've got the Estamonts here. Okay, he's not married yet. I'm sure he won't marry Ma uh, Matchlenial. Then again, he may die without kids. So who'd be next? Uh, him. Lord Quentin. Okay, he's already married as well. Can't see anyone sneaking there. Oh, one child needs a guardian. We'll get you someone with some good martial skills. Someone who's a good fighter. Roland Kesselback. Yeah. He's not very good at other stuff. Okay. Actually, Osney is actually quite a good... He's actually a skilled fighter. So I might send you to him. Yeah, we'll send you there. The others have got better marshal, but he's actually a better fighter. Um, even the Iron Throne, I guess, I could try and sneak in. As I said, you know, he's got his um, sisters. So technically, Robin Hart could be very important. Though, obviously, his father, he's going to inherit his father's stuff anyway. So they're not likely to marry him off. Okay. Oh. Okay. And last but not least, the Starks. It doesn't look like you can really get in anywhere. Alright, okay, hold a tawny. Ed's getting a bit old. Brandon, Lord of Deep Down, and Lord of the North. I had another daughter. And he's already married. Okay, doesn't I going to be able to get into there either? Okay. What is my... Uh, my lord is neutral. Uh, I'm not concerned myself for now. Yeah, I can't imagine that he'd get involved. I had to get involved in my own stuff. Do you know what? Fabricate a claim somewhere. Um, let's go on the veil. Try and fabricate a claim on the actual veil. What are the chances? Still needs to give the reach to someone. That was going to bite him if he doesn't do anything about it. I'm still surprised Duran has turned to Roller. Did not see that coming. I have to admit, this is going quite well already. I mean, we are we're High Lord. Uh, we have vassals. So it's, it's, going too, it's not going too bad already. How old am I? I'm 46 though. We may not see Baelish on the throne. I may be able to get Baelish to the Lord Paramount. If I can get a good claim. But, yeah. I can't see it really happening. Yeah, I can't really see it happening. As I've said before, I'm more of a long-term sort of player. 
I play with a lot of marriages and stuff. But yeah. Yeah. I should have to admit, um, if any of you guys watched the episode from last night, or this week's episode, I guess, um, I'm not going to say anything, obviously, if you guys haven't watched it, but there's a scene with um, Baelish, which is absolutely awesome. He does, like, a little monologue bit. And it's time for me to choose the right door for my child, okay. She's good at diplomacy, and she's quite a good... Ooh, she got my attractive and genius. Good on you, Sarah. Saya? I say Saya. And she's going to be married, hopefully, to Wyman Kettleback. Hopefully, by the time he's old enough, they'll still be okay with it. And I can kill off people, and we can put her on the Lord Palmacy. Well, at least her children will be. Uh, educated court. That'll give her a good position for when she does get in the court. Hopefully. Hopefully. A lot of things could go wrong. Yeah, this guy could get released. And if he is, they could have a kid. Hopefully he's in there for a bit longer. Ooh. Wallace of the Vale. Who is this? Okay. He's the sons of John. Okay. So he's going to go back to the normal family, it seems. Okay. That's interesting. Your ward offers services as a squire. Uh, why not? 